Right. So, <clears throat> till now we have learnt the concepts of azeotropic mixtures. We have learnt what is meant by ideal solution, non-ideal solution. We have also learnt the differences between ideal solutions and non-ideal. And later, gradually, I came uh, like uh, I came to a topic where you know you are completely learning the properties of solutions, right? So, most important thing. This is your uh, the main concept of the chapter that is colligative properties. So, when I have to define the colligative properties, suppose in the exam, if they ask you to define colligative property, let us write uh, the definition. Let us write start the inverted commas. So, colligative properties are the you can start like this. Colligative properties uh, of dilute solution. This is very important. Dilute solutions. I'll also explain why am I using that word here. Of dilute solutions is a property which depends upon which depends upon the number this is very important number of solute particles and not on nature of solute particles so not on the nature of solute particles basically we are going to speak in terms of mole fractions only so number of solute particles the solute particles can be molecules rayons Yes. So, with this colligative property when we are learning basically <coughs> completely you know that whole concept revolves around your number of solute particles. So, when I have to speak about the uh, factors in which colligative property depends upon. Yes, I will be dealing with the mathematical expression. I will be teaching you how to draw the graph. I will be doing the numericals based on that. So, I, sh I should tell you the main concept of the chapter is this. They will 100% ask you out of 5 marks, 3 marks will come from this topic. So, please try to concentrate and note it carefully. So, when I have to speak about the colligative property factors, <coughs> first important thing, it's going to depend upon yeah, the fraction of solute and solvent particles. Very important. How many are <coughs> present fraction of solute and solvent particles which are present in, in solution? So, the we are going to speak about, I said, no, I speak about number. So, I am going to speak about the fraction of solute or solvent. This also depends upon nature of solvent, not solute. Please be clear, nature of solvent. Then this also going to depend upon association and a dissociation of solute particles. Association and dissociation of solute. So, remember this, most important, learn the definition, never attempt never by mistake also don't write nature please the whole concept will go wrong we are basically speaking in terms of number only mole fraction only right so based on these three factors you have four types of colligative properties then the first type of colligative property is called rlvp rlvp is nothing but relative l stands for lowering of v stands for vapor P stands for pressure. Relative lowering of vapor pressure. When I have to write the formula, yes, <coughs> the formula for this, I'm just giving you the general uh, the, uh, a framework of the whole colligative properties, but it's going to take time for you to may understand the concept. So, general the formula for RLVP is P naught minus P by P naught is equal to X of solute. This is what I am trying to explain. Number of solute particles. So, generally in the exam, if they ask you or if you have to learn, RLVP is a general way of calling this. Done. Second important thing is elevation in boiling point. The formula for this which we are going to derive is elevation in boiling point is this delta Tb which is equal to Tb minus T naught B. I will teach you what it is. How have we got this? So, here this is also called as this see here E bull yo scopy 
ebulioscopy or ebulioscopic constant which we are going to teach you so ebulioscopy we call it. there if they ask you explain the concept of ebulioscopy that means they want you to explain about elevation and boiling point the third one is depression in freezing point depression in <coughs> freezing point so depression in freezing point it is in that particular thing is denoted by delta tf which is equal to now elevation is the difference between the higher minus the lower now depression in freezing point t not f minus tf tb minus t not b this is t not f minus tf then what do we call this we call these this particular concept or the constant as cryoscopy property that is osmotic pressure <clears throat> so in osmotic pressure the formula which we're going to learn is pi is equal to c r t yes <laughs> and the name given to this is in the exam they ask you what are van't hoff's laws of osmotic pressure this is what you're going to do so the name given studied under van't hoff's laws of osmotic pressure that's it so i'll be teaching you in a detailed way one after the other we'll be simultaneously doing numerical for everything please keep noting any doubts please let me know